What happens to people when they commit suicide? Are they punished? Do they not cross over? There's an awful lot of misconceptions about people that commit suicide. And from 20 years of doing readings and communicating with people on the other side, and some people that have committed suicide, I, I've really received a tremendous education from them about what happens. First of all, there's a lot of gray in suicide. The person's intention, whether they were just looking for attention or if they really were just in so much mental anguish or emotional anguish that they just had to check out, their intention has a great bearing on what happens next. Now the most incredible part, and you're gonna get a lot of flack about this from religious leaders, is that there is no purgatory. Everyone crosses over. Everyone goes to the other side. Uh, the way that they deal with checking out early, basically, is in their next lifetime. That just makes so much sense, too. So when people cross over, everybody crosses. The only people that I have found that are stuck are people that are in a coma, persistent vegetative state, or have Alzheimer's or dementia. And those are the people that are the only people that I have found that are actually stuck, meaning that their physical body is no longer functioning or their physical body is in the process of shutting down, but their spirit has kind of left their body, but they're still attached to it. That isn't the case in suicide. When someone commits suicide, they cross over. They have that moment of passing where they realize they made a mistake. They smack their forehead and have that V8 moment like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. And then they're on to just that peace, peaceful, quiet happiness that you have on the other side. They will pick greater challenges for themselves next lifetime. That's what I have found happens. And um, it also explains why children are born disabled. Every disabled child I've ever worked with, and I've done it for, you know, 30 years, um, every disabled child that was born disabled is definitely a past life suicide. Not all suicide people choose to come back that way next lifetime. So there's a lot of gray in suicide and um, it's always been a learning process for me. And every time I talk with somebody that's committed suicide, I learn something new. So the, the best part to know is that they're, they, they do cross over, they're with their loved ones. And there really isn't any state of them lim in, being in limbo or wondering, you know, oh gee, what did I do? Or, or any punishment of any kind. You know, the thing we have to remember about God is you cannot have a God that is a creator that's a punisher. It, it just doesn't work.